Hi there, uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how did I just make this happen. So first things first, and uh, I cannot just use the uh, actually finger in the pound because if I do so, uh, uh, it just capture all the finger of the user and uh, I need the user to be free to select on something else, touch on something else. You know, I have a bird in here. I want to uh, able the user uh, to touch on it, and the video will play. You know, so I cannot just capture the whole thing for panning. All right. So in here, uh, I just use the touch for that uh, background sprite, which is called the map sprite which is this one, you know. And whenever the user start touching, the actually tick uh, event can work, you know. This is obvious. I have a variable in here. And yes, it just make the blueprint to use the stick. And yes, and on each frame, each it just calculates the difference between the uh, start and uh, the current actually touch state and uh, I use only a Y value because I just want the user in my case to be able to uh, just pan vertically not horizontally and yes the movement the speed is there and this is stuff just for my own information and in here I get the uh, current location and add it to the value I have and this all the, this clamp is doing is just making something like a blocking volume for me because the blocking volume are not working anymore when I use the set relative location they were actually working with the add movement input so and yes it's working almost good but there are some bugs you know the the first thing is that the moving is uh, so solid and i just have to add some kind of easing to it the other actually bug is that the uh, when the player actually uh, remain his finger on the, <laughs> the screen it uh, just you know uh, keeps moving like so <laughs> but I'm gonna fix it later uh, so on it's working very good thank you